The Toronto Islands are the city center's largest park. You can see them behind me now. Viewed from the CN Tower, it's like looking down on lagoons dotted with islands. If you're staying at a hotel in Toronto, you're a 10 minute ferry ride away from a park that has no more cars, no more noise, and you look out at an ocean-like lake. You can bring all of your kids to Centerville. It's like a miniature village in there. And uh, it's quite different from the Wonderlands or large tourist attractions. You don't have like loud teenagers. It's very family oriented in there and younger crowds. The first time we came here, we really weren't, re we didn't realize what Toronto looked like from the other side because we were always in it. And it's, it's really quite beautiful. It's great. The great view of the city. It feels really peaceful over here. The only thing you see are the odd golf cart and every now and then the utility vehicle, but it's basically just pedestrian, so it's great. And getting here is great. They love the ferry. ferry ride. That's part of the whole the whole pack, yeah. just taking the yeah. ferry across and back at the end of the day. Without a doubt, the island is one of the busiest beaches uh, every summer. We are home to many, many, many camps. The break wall also stops the waves, so very pleasant. You see a lot of people playing volleyball, frisbee, and just generally sunbathing. You got frisbee golf. There's a clothing optional beach over at Hanlon's. It's one of the best spots to watch the sunset. The best thing about it, a visit to the Toronto Islands, is uh, a very inexpensive way to spend your day. Six bucks to paradise. It's unlike anywhere else. I can't imagine living in the city. It's like a little oasis next to the city. You know, you're right, you're right in the heart of the city, and yet you are in your own little paradise right here on the island.